I believe there is no democracy without independent journalism. We want to make sure that young people can form their opinion and then go vote. My name is Karolis Wisnauskas. I'm a journalist and editor at NARA Collective here in Vilnius, Lithuania. Hello, Karolis. Lovis, Lukas. My name is Lukas. I'm a journalist and the editorial lead of ENTER, I'm a pan European media platform, and I'm based here in Berlin. As a journalist, you have a power to ask questions, to make your voice heard, and to make other people, especially politicians and those people who have more power than you, to hold them accountable. I believe that when you put a spotlight on the problems that we have as a society with human rights, uh, there's more visibility, and more visibility leads to change. We have an absolute lack of independent journalism that's targeted at um, young people. The initial idea of this project has been to create an independent media for young Europeans that can ensure that young Europeans are informed and can take informed decisions. The European Union is overall a positive place for independent media because a lot of the values that are important for independent media such as freedom of speech um, democracy are enshrined in the essence of the EU. In a country like Lithuania, it's important to understand the history when we talk about journalism today, because uh, during the years of the Soviet occupation, we had like five decades of government-controlled media. I think in Germany we're very fortunate when it comes to um, independent media. We do have laws that separate public um, service media from the state. But at the same time, I do feel like the climate towards journalism is changing. So like the trust in especially public service media is declining. The path of making media more trustworthy is to be more transparent. We are transparent about the funding that we, we get, about our personal code of ethics. No one would ever to tell us, like, interview that person and don't interview that person. One way to gain young people's trust specifically again is to meet them eye to eye. They are influenced by what they're seeing online and on social media. I think it's very important to be on social media and to have a space for young people where they can find reliable information and yeah, a real discourse with real people. What's really important is to keep funding projects with EU money, like ENTA. We need more of that because it, it makes us stronger as a, as a community, especially in this part of the world. <laughs> <laughs>